Um, so it is. Um, it is Thursday, the seventh of um, January, and I am making this today Malaysia manga curry from this book called The Hundred Easy Stoke Recipes. Same as what I used when I made the. Um, uh, chickpea and pillow fried, which was lovely by the way, and I had some left over, which we'll have for my lunch today. And so what I've done so far is I've used my mini, my little, let's use a food processor, but I don't have a food processor, so I'm using my mini chopper. And um, so you need to put two out of chili, garlic and ginger in, we press the one, put it in there, and we it and half the oil to make a paste and set aside alternatively grind the ingredients with a pestle and mortar well, I don't have that so I'm going to have to do it this way there's four cloves of garlic one tablespoon of ground turmeric I didn't have uh, fresh ginger because I don't want to buy fresh ginger when I've got ground ginger so I put uh, about half a teaspoon of ginger and one pepper and one um, red chilli because me and my husband are not really into too much heat and that's what I love about these recipes is the fact that you can uh, unlike with baking where you have to be put, be precise with these you don't because uh, the chilli in that is to give it heat but it depends how much heat you like um, so I'd always say when um, making curries make them to how hot you like it and that's why I love making uh, these sorts of recipes and it's nice to do something that's meat free for a change so I uh, just need to add and so I'm gonna now add my oil I want to just break it down first just a little bit okay so I'm now gonna add that in touch <laughs> it wasn't uh good the bean button wasn't working but I had uh, a few times it did so I've made it into like a a paste. I probably need to break that down just a little bit more. Paste, and so that's done. We'll set that aside now, and then, and then you heat the remaining oil in a large, heavy base pan and add the slot. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna put that to one side. Um, I'll put that over there. And so I'm going to get on with that now and tidy that up. And then I go on the next stage. Um, I always believe it's good to do one thing at a time. So you know what you are and you don't get into a fuffle. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to get on now and do the next step. So I've chopped some my shallots. So that's eight all together. And I've just put some oil, some of that oil in the pan. And I'm just getting some salt and pepper to season, season them once I've cooked. Start my nose. Um, and then um, after that, I stay. Oh, no, I'm the wrong one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and cook for three to four minutes until soft. And then you see from the salt and pepper. Then add the paste. And cook stirring occasionally for a few more minutes. Pour in the coconut milk and stock and bring to boil. Transfer everything into the slow cooker. Cover with and cook on for high for three to four hours. Stir in the lime juice to taste and just a flavour with a little sugar and season if needed. Stir through the noodles, mango and coriander. So you will do that at the very end. You're just obviously just making the sauce for now, which is great. So I'm going to get on and get these sizzling. These, um, like I mentioned in my um, vlog showing how I made the chickpea and pillow fries, that you would like me to try or recommend. Please do. I love sharing recipes with people and I love watching other people cook on YouTube as well. But if you've got any recipes you think that I'd you would like to try or like to see me show on YouTube, then uh, let me know. And uh, I'm happy to try 
them out if any other sort of because uh, meat free recipes what I'm looking for at the moment because I do want at least one or two days where we don't have meat because uh, it can get a bit and this is a great recipe for okay maybe not leftovers but possibly if you've got any shallots left over from cooking a Christmas dinner or and also you just want something that's you felt you've had meat all over Christmas New Year and you want something that's not no meat at all then this recipe you know definitely recommend um, and you're getting your fruit as well you may get your mango and I love mango so uh, I want to give it a try and um, yeah so can let that cook down and then sizzle and then do the rest of it uh, I'll add the curry paste that I've made and then obviously that all goes into the so cooker I'm just going to um, add the, the salt and I turn to this with one hand, probably getting up, getting up, it's going. So, I'll show you once I've got to the next step. So, I've just made the, uh, just added the paste in with the, um, in with the onions, and so now. And then pour the cup of milk and stop, so I'm going to do that. Shortly get that can opened. Okay, so I made the right boo-boo just now and read the wrong page. Um I was um, and next time I thought I'm just gonna cover that over so I know not to work uh, with that side. Uh because you put too well I did put too much stock in it, but it's fine, I've saved it, it tastes alright. I just had to reduce the amount of putting uh because it's 150 ml of stock and then you put in the coconut. But to tell you, because it's all gonna cook down anyway and thicken, um, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I did put a lot out because I thought it would be going to be too sort of watery otherwise, so I've, uh, and, but uh, it will thicken anyway, so um, I've just returned <laughs> pours them out, uh, but um, anyway, not a problem, this has happened, I know for next time, just covered it there page before it, just in case you end up reading it, um, the wrong page, <laughs> but uh, no, that's fine, so it's just a can of coconut milk, you pour it in, you uh, put in your bread stock and then you let it bring to bowl, and now I'm going to put it all into the uh, slow cooker, and then it's doing the last bit at the end, the sugar, the mango, so, okay. Um, so occasionally for three minutes, bowl. Anyway, it smells lovely actually. So, um, that's that. Uh, anyway, let's put the lid on now. And it's had in the the mango in there and the last bit actually let me take them out so I'm boiling that now um, and um, yeah so now it's just adding the water good thing about it I just had a bit more water to it because of the last but I hope I, uh, and it still tastes fine um, and like I say it will thicken as it cooks in there and you just cook it on high for it takes so where's my book uh, i've had my book is it takes uh three to four hours and then stir in the lime juice to taste and adjust the flavor with the sugar and seasoning if needed stir through the noodles and mango and coriander so i'll do that at the end that's the dinner done with the noodles added and the mango and with the noodles, you have to put um, sit them in some cold water for a minute or so, and then 
drain them um, and then put them in and the maggie put in and I'll put a tablespoon of sugar in and um, yeah a tablespoon of sugar a tablespoon of yeah, sugar and then some lime juice yeah and that's ready